Hey, what's up? It's been a couple days since I made that first video and we made some good progress at the shop, so I thought I'd share. Uh, today, we had a contractor come and put a vent in the ceiling so we can have some fresh air come in. Today, we also had the electrician come by uh, to start work here. We have something like 14 new circuits being run. We have quite a bit of power needs here. These at the bottom here are going to run down to most of the CNC equipment. They got to finish that out so the CNC will sit in the back left corner there. And that is the sealed room in the back where all the loud machines will go. Got a bunch of new runs on the side here. This will be Joe's workspace. Ah uh, yes, I haven't really actually told you who Joe is. Joe is going to share our new shop space. He's a true woodworker, whereas I just play one on YouTube. I actually snuck him into the last videos. He showed up right when we were putting up our walls. I'll get more into his work, but check out Boundary Fog on Instagram to see his amazing bed frames, cabinetry, and other work. I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram. Got some new ceiling drops, which will be cord drops, as well as like tools in the center, uh, I think a joiner and a planer. That's Hunter, who really wants to go home right now. But yeah, we got a lot done. We've added drywall on the inside since we last uh, shot any video of this area. We finished up the roof, uh, threw in some two by sixes and hurricane ties. Flushed it all out so that the electrician can do their rough in. I don't know if the echo is terrible in here or not, but we'll continue. Uh, so we got 5 8 drywall for sound definite deadening. This is where our hold vacuum will sit, the blue tape, kind of the outlet mar marking spot. Uh, air compressor will be here. Uh, dust collector is this one on the left. Be right here. And this is an outlet for an air filtration system that will help clean the air and kind of pull air out of the room since we're gonna be essentially over pressurizing this area with all the incoming air from the hold vacuum and the dust collector. So that'll shoot out here. It's that jet machine right back here. We'll have a duct on one side and that'll come out the side of the, the room. And then as soon as we get the electrician to do their rough in, we'll be able to put in insulation. Well, actually we'll get a cover inspection first and then we'll do a a uh, bunch of insulation, which is this rock wool that we got uh, as a tip off from Crafted Workshop's new shop build out, which is a sweet find. I was literally shopping for insulation right when I watched his video, so thanks for that. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. It's essentially fireproof and not a huge insulating factor, but pretty good. It's not really what we need though. Oh, this is a constant struggle. Can you not, can you not eat that? Yeah, I don't know what that is, that's gross. Band-aid maybe? Nope. Mmm. So after we put up the rock wool, which is the insulation, um, on the ceiling and on the walls, we'll be able to put up another layer of drywall. It's pretty thick stuff, it's 5 8 um, That's essentially just more mass uh, to try to stop sound from coming out of the room. On top of that, we're gonna put this half inch ACX or fur plywood. This is actually the backside of a sheet. It's pretty nice looking and we'll probably end up painting it, but it's a pretty nice consistent surface. And that'll go all across the front. So we'll paint that nice. So you'll have a nice backdrop behind the CNC. Probably do some kind of branding on the back wall, which we're pretty excited about. Finally get to kind of own our space as we'd like to. Obviously a door, which is in the corner and use it, I guess. It's gonna come pretty quick, we think, so probably be moving the CNC sometime next week, in the next couple days, and Hunter is very excited to get home, so we'll probably get to that, but just wanted to make a little update, and I'll share some more soon.